Hey, good morning, everybody. I um, have another opportunity to play with my tools. Uh, during our last capping trip, uh, about midnight, one o'clock in the morning, we smelled what s smelled like plastic burning. So we um, uh, shut off the air conditioner because that's definitely where it was coming from. And I believe it's a capacitor. So let me just show you what I'm doing. All right, I'm on top of my camper. I have a Coleman Mach air conditioner. I don't think it's a Mach 1 or any other series. I think it's just simply a Mach. Um, and what I had happen was during our camping trip this weekend, uh, about midnight, one o'clock in the morning, we started smelling what smelled like plastic burning, uh, which obviously gave us a great deal of concern. And so we um, turned off the air conditioner for the rest of the trip. and. Thankfully, we were, it was cool enough at night, we were fine, and we were coming home that next morning. So, not a big issue, but um, what I know right now is if I power on inside, my fan just hums. And so, but I can reach up and spin the squirrel cage and it'll kick on. So obviously that's got a capacitor issue, but the, man, the fan's running great and there's no wobbling or anything. So I don't believe I have a fan motor issue. Um, so on the side of this unit, there's an access panel, and in, uh, in there are three capacitors. Um, and on the back side of this access panel is the, the wiring schematic. So I can easily see that the fan motor, when it's right here at the top, uh, it shows that it has a brown and white, you can see that, and brown wire. So if you look at the capacitors, that's this guy. Oh, and by the way, guys, uh, I unplugged my camper and I took this long screwdriver holding the plastic, not holding the metal, and I grounded out and shorted out these capacitors because I don't want them to throw me off the top of the, my camper. Uh, so I've shorted them out so I can touch them and deal with them. And this is definitely the fan one. And if you look at this guy, she definitely blew up. Uh, you can see the hole in the side of it. Um, it's all the juiciness ran out. Look how it bubbled up on the top. It blew up without a doubt. So we're going to get her, her replaced. Um, this one bothers me because of all the corrosion. It looks fine. Uh, I'm going to see, it says it's the motor starter. I have no idea what that means on that little accessory. Um, but there's a good shot of that label but I'm going to look at replacing it as well while I'm in here and then here's the uh, main one let's see what it if it tells us what we got here um, wiring use with potential motor starting relay positive temperature coefficient resistor so I, I I'll would be lying to you if I told you I knew what these were uh, but I'm going to look at replacing all three if I can buy them as a set I'll replace them Definitely got to replace the fan one. Um, I'll update you as I progress. All right, I'm back on top of the camper. I have my new part in, or it arrived. And so we're going to install it. Let me show you what I've got capacitor brown and white we were looking at our label which was fan motor which was brown and white and brown so we're going to disconnect those put this guy in uh, and then stuff all of it back in and uh, give it a try now I just want to point out first of all make sure your camera will support you standing on top of it mine have, mine will but not every one of them it's good for that. Obviously, you'd never do this on a pop-up camper. Um, and then, um, just be careful because you're up on the, off the ground. I'm eight feet up off the ground now, so obviously it would, it would be not be good if I stepped off of this thing. So, I'm going to get this button back up. We'll get this put back on, and then we'll test her out and see how it works. All right, I'm off the roof. I've got everything buttoned up up there. Um, just want to take a brief second and talk to you though about running your AC from your house. Um, that is in most campers the biggest 
power draw item you have. And if you look inside your camper circuit breaker, you will find that it's, it's wired to a 20 amp circuit. So at home, we've all got some kind of adapter. That's what mine looks like, that I plug my camper cord, my 30 amp into, and then I'm plugging it into a one, um, regular 110 extension cord. Or I might plug it into the wall of my, of my garage or my house. The air conditioner in our camper, if you look at the circuit breaker inside your camper, you'll see that it's on a 20 amp circuit. These things are not designed to be run on a 15 amp. So the next thing to look at is where are you going to plug this up in your house? What is that? Where's that outlet? And you need to find the circuit breaker for that outlet. Is that circuit breaker a 20 amp? If it's not, your AC may run on it, but you're really taxing that circuit because it needs a 20 amp. For some of us, I had an older camper with a, an older AC and it would not run. Um, it was really in danger of burning up the AC, I believe, by trying to run it off that 15 amp. So you wanna make sure that your amp, amperage breaker uh, that you're plugging your camper into is 20 amp. Now you don't need that if you're not gonna run your air conditioner at home. You just need something to power the lights or maybe the water pump or whatever. You're fine. But if you're gonna hook up that air conditioner, you need a 20 amp. Now, if you're like me, your cord from your camper will not reach that wall. So now you've gotta get an extension cord. Well, we got the same thing. We cannot plug up a, if you bought a cheap orange extension cord, those are also designed for like a 15 amp circuit. Uh, you need to make sure that the extension cords you use is a heavy gauge that it can run a 20 amp circuit item off of it. So three things, two or three things. First of all, make sure your outlet in your garage is a 20 amp circuit. Secondly, make sure your extension cord is designed to run a 20 amp circuit before you plug your camper into it and run your air conditioning. You will, you do run the risk of burning up your extension cord Easiest scenario is that you trip a breaker in the house. Uh, the worst case scenario is that you, um, you ruin your AC system. So make sure you look at that before you plug everything up. All right, let's get back to our air conditioner. All right, we're plugged up. And our issue was our fan would not kick on unless we stuck our hand up in there and spun the squirrel cage. So now we're gonna kick her on with no hesitation. Let me back away from the fan just like that with no hesitation. She kicked on. So our capacitor took care of our job and we're ready to go camping again. I hope this helps everybody. Thanks for watching.